Vince, big or small, give us a call. to it just going wherever it goes whatever opportunity presents itself i'm going to take advantage of it i think it's probably going to go down where we are striking and he takes a little bit more than he really likes and he's going to try to take me down and i think i'm going to smash him down on the ground i've been uh, training hard up in champions creed doing lots of rounds training hard at rashi you know i'm well prepared if it stays standing i'm ready for a knockout go to the ground i'm going to prove to everybody i'm one of the best ground fighters there is something you want, you want to do with a guy with the nickname the strangler and he's on the mat he might have a little bit of a grip on ryan's arm i can't see but uh if ryan feels himself in danger he's definitely going to change positions tierney, tierney is committing his corner is calling for hips i think he's got that camera locked up but uh Judging by the position of uh, Brendan's shoulders, not so much. Looking like my hand's almost free here and taking the back of Brendan Tierney. He needs to let go of that arm and address the positional issue at hand. 14 victories by way of submission and a rear naked choke is a favorite of Ryan. Here it comes, Ryan Mahan now controlling Brendan Tierney's back and pounding him out. Two, two minutes and 22 seconds left in the round. I don't know how much of this Brendan Tierney can take. Looks like he could be switching to an arm bar option there. Brendan just about left that open, but Ryan's just gonna pound him out. Brendan stays game. Ryan looking for that choke here. Ryan needs to watch his feet there, his ankles crossed. Could end up with a little bit. Oh, uh, back. Reasserts himself and takes control of the back. Brendan face down. Tony's in trouble here. He's in a lot of trouble. He needs to come up with a different solution. Ryan Boschamp is going to stop this fight if he does not do something. This fight is over. Red Deer, you have your first. Welterweight champion in Havoc fighting. His name is Ryan Mahan, and he has just scored his 21st career victory, 30th fight overall. Relentless with his ground and pound. He was, at a, he was at a couple of tough spots there in the beginning, in the clinch, eating some knees, stayed patient. And managed to find himself in a dominant position. Only weeks from now, Ryan Mahan will check, check. be locked into a super fight jujitsu battle against one of uh, Cyborg Bro black belts. And uh, I, I think that uh, just speaks volumes about uh, Ryan's game this on the mat. Definitely something that came into factor played into this fight, rather, tonight. Brenna Tierney not too happy with the outcome, but uh, give Brian Beauchamp much of a choice in that position. 
has to be said though that Brandon Tierney did not tap out, did not verbally submit. The end came by way of referee stoppage. At the halfway mark of the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, referee. And now to Keith Crawford and Jesse Fox for the presentation <laughs> of... Ladies and gentlemen, referee though. Brian Beauchamp stays, stands in at 322nd of the first round. Your winner by TKO and new Havoc Welterweight Champion, Ryan Mahan! The smile upon the face of Ryan Mahan. Well-deserved victory. And few people will ever understand Ryan's will to prepare a consummate professional through and through. You know that he put in a full camp, training twice a day for this fight, and the results uh, speak for themselves. Check, 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 check. Check. Check, check. Holy mackerel, Ryan, first of all, fight starts out, stand-up wars, strong punches and kicks, especially his kicks. Uh, you just bided your time, really. Yeah, that head kick really hurt, and I just went for the clinch. He went for the floor and kind of worked on my game. Yeah, you know what, he had you on the corner there, and obviously what he wanted to do is probably try to stop it and have it stood back up. But you started acting on the ground and advance your position. I was uh, letting him hold the kimura so I could work my way to his back. Just taking my time. You're a lot smarter than I know what you look. <laughs> anyway, congratulations on the championship fight. I know you have some sponsors to thank. And here's the other thing. I have no idea why Joe Silva or one of those guys from the UFC have not called you. We're on national television live. Let's get this guy to the UFC. I'm ready. Give me my shot. I'm ready. I want to thank Master Oil Fields, Creative Concrete, Lead Exterior, State of the Art Tattoo. Red Deer Hot Yoga, Goliath Snubbing, Central Alberta Adjuster, and Widmar. And go see RJ at the front door. Can I get all my sponsors to the cage so I can get a picture with you guys? Ladies and gentlemen, he is your new champion, Ryan Mahan! There you have it, folks. As we conclude the action tonight, Ryan Mahan emerges as your 170-pound title holder. On behalf of Havoc Jesse and Tara and all the crew at Havoc Fighting Championships, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming tonight. Drive safely. We will see you at the after party at Tiffany's Steakhouse and Lounge. Thank you. And I've been going through the list of sponsors all night, but it has to be said one more time. A special thank you to Moss Pro Oil Field Supply, Goliath Snubbing, VNO Exteriors, Rick the Welder, Gasoline Alley, Harley Davidson, Tiffany Steakhouse and Lounge, as well as the Parkland Sled and ATV, Cost Corp Investments. We thank you, each and every one of you, equally for your support and interest in the sport of mixed martial arts. And thank you for lending your 